My name is Jemery Adeni J. Um, I'm a singer, songwriter, and I must say that it's been the greatest honor of my life to be able to share my talent and my gift with the world. I started music at a very, very tender age, and I remember, you know, always learning how to sing um, African folklore with my with my grandma in the village. It was the most beautiful, beautiful moment of my life where I would sit under the, you know, moonlight and tell us this folk folklore and I'm just listen and listen, enjoy, and then you know. And then, well, when I got to um, high school. You know, we had this press club, everybody went to the press club just to talk about stuff happening every day. And I just got bored and then I started my own group. It was a musical group called Echoes of Praise. And Echoes of Praise, I got, you know, some of the girls that were in Echoes of Praise were so interested and I formed my own group, the Just Sisters, with three beautiful ladies that were sing our art out. And we started, you know, walking and before I knew it became a career. And from there, we took it out from school, started to sing at different churches, events. And the first time I went to the studio was, um, I think I was 14. We went to sing my school anthem. We know was we had like an inter-house for that meant the world to me. Like, wow, I love this experience, and I like, and I told myself, this is where I belong, right here in the studio and on the stage. And from there, I've never ever looked back, choosing you know, to walk in this path. And fast forward to 2013, before, you know, when I came to the US, and um, nothing, was, nothing changed. It's that it got even better, and I told myself, you know, I'm gonna use my voice, you know, to support and be the voice for the voiceless. And I make sure, and I have five songs that talk about women. Can you believe it? I'm sorry. But like, how do you sing five songs for women? I'm, I'm not sexist or something, but to me, women and, and children, we need this voice because sometimes we're being suppressed and, and I believe, you, you know, music is such a tool that was used back in the days for civil rights movements and so many things and I know music is still the same thing, you know, still has the same power, the same influence that it had back then, still has it. And I just want to say thank you so much to God. But, you know, making everything so possible for you know for this dream and making sure that I'm able to influence the world and the world is able to also influence me positively. And you know, and I'm just so excited I'm, and I'm grateful. I'm really grateful and so happy to be a part of this AD King Foundation family. Thank you so very much. I love you so much, Miss Naomi Baba King. You are such a role model. I'm super proud to, to say, I know you, Mama, and everyone in this room today listening to this. Thank you. God bless.